Right. Good evening, everyone.
Good evening, all. Good evening, all. Is my voice clear? Yes, yes madam. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Uh, so let's wait for uh, two, uh, two or three more minutes that others also join. Then we can start the class. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's start. We share the. Okay, is the okay. uh, visible? The slide is visible. Yes, mom is visible. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, today's session, let's see about. Data analytics methodologies. So, what are all the methodologies now being used in data analytics? So, the normal process or the methodology, you know, how to go with the data analytics process, usually you not know, done in uh, the organizations uh, before uh, the start of any project or uh, if they want to come into any decision making. Uh, in any particular process, let it be you know, like uh, cost allocation or budget allocation or planning of resources or um, say planning of production for the next uh, one month or uh, you're coming up with new product design or product enhancement, whatever it is. So um, there, there is no like oh. these sort of process to be, you know, like to be followed. So first we start with data collection. Data collection is something uh, that, uh, you know, like uh, whatever has happened in the past, that is you no know, like historical data is taken into consideration. That is what has happened in the market previously or what has happened in the organization previously. Uh, for example, uh, what are, what was the you know, like uh, sales, uh, what was the uh, amount of sales you know, which has happened in the last year or uh, how was the sales you know, which happened you know, like three months back or six months back. So this type of data collection is you know, like taken into consideration. 
collected. So all the data which is collected would be the raw data. It is not the pure data. So everything will be the raw data. Uh, guys, uh, please mute your audio if you're not speaking. I think, Rehan, you haven't muted your audio. Uh -huh. Mr. Rehan, please mute your audio. Okay. So the data collected would be just a raw data. So every oh, every possibilities or everything would have been you no know, like taken into uh for you no know, like doing analytics. So the team who you not know, doing the data analytics part, they have to you know like categorize the raw data and you know like uh, leave out all the you know, like unwanted data and take only those data you no know, which are some qualitative or quantitative factor in it. So that data is categorized and uh, know the the uh, that is which is having qualitative and quantitative factors. So that data is being prepared, leaving out all the other unwanted data. So after preparation of that uh, uh, eventful data, data analysis is done. So whatever information the team wants to know, get from those data, so analysis is done. It may be a series of calculations or it may be you no know, like uh, a kind of you no know, like um, uh, what do you say, you no know, like uh, getting the uh, help of you no know, like the systems or the software is you no know, available for you no know, like those kind of calculations, some sort of analysis, you no know, like what are the whatever the data is you no know, like collect, collected and you no know, like prepared, the an analysis is done on that data, and then model building. So based on the uh, of the final result which has you no know, like received the uh, received from the data, that is the result of the data, a model is being built. So this model is nothing but you no know, like uh, what has to be you no know, done uh, uh, you no know, like uh, uh, within the next few days or few months or few hours. So that would be the model. So who is responsible for this? So what is the next prioritized activity and uh, which department should be you no know, like um, concentrated most or uh, which team you no know, like uh, these uh, roles and responsibilities has to be given. So that this is the model building. So once this is done. It is implemented and uh, the results are you no know, like uh, taken into consideration and finally you no know, everything is put into use. So this is how the usual methodology is being done. So data collection. As I said, the quality, quantity, validity. So everything is included. So the raw data is collected. Everything uh, you no know, like it is collected on the first basis. And uh, here, uh, the team cannot decide that, you no, know, like, uh, since it is the uh, primary data collection technique, uh, in the first process, the team cannot decide or the department, the, the data analytics department cannot decide that this particular data, data, you know, like, it cannot be taken into consideration. Not this data, you no, know, can be left out. So, in the initial stage itself, because they cannot decide on that particular time or date that that such data is not going to be used, uh, no, like for, uh, any any time at all. So uh, the decision making is done only after the collection of all the available historical data or the present trend or no, the present oh. uh, uh, thing which is happening in the industry or in the market. So after the collection of uh, every data, all the data, then comes the decision making analysis that is all the unwanted data is being you no know, like thrown off or you no know, like cleared off and only data which has qualitative and quantitative factors to it so that is being you no know, like taken and the data is being prepared the final list of you no know, the data is being prepared then comes the data analysis so based on that data analysis is, is done so there are many techniques and models, you no know, like uh, available for uh, doing this analysis. Uh, we have you no know, like linear regression, non-linear regression. We have you no know, many many uh, forecasting techniques uh, like time series methods or uh, weighted average methods. So many such things are you no know, available. And uh, other than that, you no know, like uh, we have you no know, like. Uh, AI integrated, you no know, calculations and all, you no know, like most recently, you no know, these are also available, like Microsoft uh, 365 uh, integrated dynamics, uh, uh, whatever, you no know, like the software. So it has you no know, like specialized uh, software uh, calculation or no specialized system calculation, especially for each and every department or each and every industry. 
So if it is going to be the financial based calculation, the system can do it for you. Or if it is going to be logistical based calculation that is uh, related to logistics and supply chain, so it can do the calculation for you. So it depends on the decision of the team or the decision of the top management of the company or a decision of the business analyst. So that is a post called business analyst, you no, know, like nowadays, you no, know, that's a prevalent uh, position, you no, know, like most of the companies. So if the business analyst decides, so this particular model or this particular technique can be, you know, taken for uh, doing the uh, analytics part. So yes, that would be taken and you no, know, like finally the results would be got. Then comes the model building. So based on the results, that is not the final result. So it's an intermediate result given by uh, the comp the system or the person who has done the analytics part. And based on that uh, temporary result, the model building is done. So here uh, the team can you know, provide various options to the uh, the you know, like the other team members or to the uh, all the you know, like parties or all the uh, persons you know, like involved in this. Um, uh, you, know, you know, the data analytics and the, you know, like uh, execution part. So everything is being interpreted, communicated clearly. So whose responsibility is what and what should be done next and uh, which activity or no, like, uh, uh, or um, yes, which activity to be prioritized on the first basis. So once, the, once that is completed after the completion of that, what would be the next prioritized activity? So in this way, the model building is done. And you no, know, once everything is you no know, like made clear and you no know, clearly communicated to all the other parties, then comes the results. So that is being implemented. The team goes on with implementing and uh, carry on with the operations and activities, and then comes the results. So based on these results, uh, the real time data, you no know, like uh, uh, that is being collected. Real time data is nothing but so now the team can you know like presently see uh, if when they are applying it, that it can you know actually see what is happening right now with the results or with the model what they have built. For example, um, uh, I can take an example of say um, a particular service service provided by uh, say an educational institution. So they are planning to provide a, um, start a new um, uh, a course. A course in uh, say uh, uh, something new, say uh, AI, a new course in AI, and they want their uh, uh, their uh, students to know, like uh, to get to know, like what actually AI is and how it can be, you know, implemented, you know, like in uh, uh, integrated with other technologies, you know, which is already available, like AI in Java or AI with SQL or AI with web, web development or AI in, you know, like um, what do you say, resume building. So like how it can be you no know, integrated. So when the results are published, you no, know, when that is implemented, so hands on, I mean, uh, on the on the front, up front, you no, know, they can see how the students are you no, know, like um, catching up the things and how they, you know, how the results are being, you no, know, like uh, uh, how, what is their, you no, know, like uh, uh, what do you say, like uh, how they are performing actually. So. In the meantime, like if the team has to do some changes or uh, would like to have some uh, corrections or uh, would like to know, like means make some amendments and you know like any of the uh, factors, they can do it. So they can do it and then again, no, like re-implement it and see what are all the results. Then finally, uh, once everything is you know, like done, it can be put into use. So this is a regular process. So this is not going to end with one particular season or one particular project. So this will go on with the company. So each time when they go on with uh, new projects, uh, the other projects or the enhanced projects, or uh, each time when they are you no know, like moving off with uh, new services and products. So the experience of the data analyst and the experience of the team you know that also gets uh, uh, increased and uh, it gets polished and uh, they get used to it so that the results would be you know like far and far uh, more better than the previous one so this is how it is done the data analy analytics part so on the whole if you see why data analytics has to be done in the company 
this is for uh, foreseeing that is you no know, like forecasting the uh, demand forecasting the demand for a product or forecasting the demand for the service provided by the company so that is the main basic reason and um, based on that forecasting result they can you know uh, come with a newer product version or uh, enhanced uh, product or enhanced service version and they can you know come up with new business ideas so hoping that this would click in the market if they are no like uh, coming up uh, with a new product or new service which is not like the previous one but something more better even better than the previous one or even no better than the competitors product so if the team comes to know like this is the uh, uh, top five qualities of the competitors product then they can know come with something more with their own product so but before doing that a proper examination has to know like, like done that is you no know, collecting the historical data collecting feedback from the uh, consumers and uh, collecting feedback from the market agents that is the uh, the distribution agents and um, even collecting the feedback from the employees the stakeholders and uh, checking what are all the new technologies available in the uh, uh, field right now how those technologies can be implemented in you no know, like uh, coming with uh, new products and services so all these has to be done but before doing this the data has to be in hand without data this is not at all possible just by mere assumption or uh, just by mere uh, speculation things will not work out especially in you no know, like uh, uh, business industry so things will definitely not work out the so proper analytics has to be done so if you the, if the team has to perform a pro proper analytics data has to be in hand and if they need to have the data it has to be collected uh, in advance you know from the documents or from the previous files or the emails and what whatever thing is you now available in the organization's system or in the physical documentation so all the information all the data has to be collected analyzed and the model has to be you no know, like uh, 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 has to be made and it has to be deployed to you no know, like each and every uh, team member and it has to be you no know, implemented by those team members and uh, if at all required corrections has to be made then and there and then again re implemented and then finally publish the results and see how it is you no know, like using useful in the useful for the organization so this is how it is done so i've given the okay a visual representation of you no know, like how the analytics process is so data analyzing the data and uh, with the general reports the team can you know, come up with smarter decisions much smarter decision uh, which makes the organization to sustain in the industry for a longer run so you would have been uh, you no know, like uh, aware about the plc plc is you no know, product life cycle so there is there is four stages in product life cycle that is you no know, like introduction growth maturity and decline so in the introduction stage uh, we know that the company cannot expect uh, as much sales or as much profit because uh, that is a, a phase where you no know, just a product has been introduced to the market many of the consumers or customers don't even know that there is this type of product is available in the market so here the companies the organizations main objective would be like um, you no know, like uh, creating an awareness in the uh, consumers mind you no know, like this product is available and uh, the use of this product how it can be used why for what reasons no it can be used the price of the product and uh, uh, that their company's product is this. so creating an awareness of the product so that would be their focus upon but not in no like profit maximization and this is this is this usually would happen in the introduction stage and in the growth stage now the sales would no like slowly no like it, it gets picking up and uh, now uh, a small uh, profit not not much profit but at least you known that uh, since there is an increase in sales the uh, the organization can you no know, see a uh, much uh, you no know, like little profit in profit uh, you no know, like uh, uh, from the consumers from the consumer side and uh, here now they have to you know like increase the uh, the branding of the product and you no know, like 
they have to spend too much time and money on advertising the product, cover all the distribution agents in the market so that make sure the product will reach you know, each and every consumers, you know, like at most all the customers in the market. And um, and now after some time, you know, like uh, then now the product will be in the maturity. So in the maturity stage, we know uh, what would be the, you know, like the sales level of the product. is Now high sales, peak sales will be happening. So high profits the company would be, you know, like getting on. So now their target would be, you know, like in more profit maximization. So trying to you know, like procure more, produce more, and you know, like store more products and you know, like distribute more products to, uh, in the market. And now there is a phase, there is a necessity for the company to uh, differentiate their product with the competitor's product. So they have to make the customers understand how their product is you know, like different from the competitor's product. Because now the product is you no know, like high P, that is you no know, high sales. And uh, yes, competitor's product will also be having the same quality, almost the same price, just like the company's product. So the consumers wouldn't be, should not be you not know, confused or should not be in a dilemma, you no, know, like whether to buy this one or this product or that company's product. So to attract the customers, to retain those customers, uh, the, the branding comes here. The branding part you know, comes here. Then after that declination stage. So once everything is over, uh, each and every any product, no, like that, that would be a declination stage. So avoid that declination stage. Uh, usually, the organizations go with this business analytics practice, not only in introducing a new product, but to retain the old customers, the loyal customers for the organization. Usually, uh, many organizations they go with business analytics. The when their product or when their service is in the peak sales. So to make sure after the peak sales is over, the, their product or service shouldn't go to the declination stage. No, it should be no like in the long run. It should sustain in the industry for a very long time. So this is where business analytics no has its role. Either in the first phase, that is no like when they are introducing a new product or service or after the maturity stage. Hope I'm clear. Is it clear as of now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me not change. Okay. So there are a few uh, analytic terms, quick uh, three to four analytic terms, that is data. So data is nothing but the events which has happened. Uh, that is no the past events and uh, uh, events is no like uh, the decisions which have been taken by the organizations and the results of those decisions being implemented, uh, the sales which has happened or uh, volumes of or the units of no like uh, 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 products which has been raw materials which has been procured or which has been transported, which has been produced and uh, which has been stored, which has been distributed, and um, the budget which has been you no know, like uh, um, you no know, like uh, incorporated, everything, the capital which has been invested. So all these are data. Everything is a data. So data is you not know, the collection of events, whatever which has you no know, happened in the past within the organization, or if it is outside the organization, which has happened in the market which has happened in the industry or which has happened in the national economy. So that is all data about. Analyze. Analyze is no like, inter I mean, no like using the techniques and no like all the methodologies um, uh, using those data to come up with an end result so that based on that result, the decision can be made. So that is no analyzing part. And the generating the reports that is based on those results and after the analysis is done, based on those reports, generating the reports, that is, you know, like, um, what to do next? What would be the plan? What would be the strategy? So how to go with the strategy? How to achieve the goal of the uh, organization? How to go with the, how to uh, go uh, achieve the objective of the organization? So this is like generating the report. And smart decisions. So smart decisions is allocation of uh, funds to uh, know like funds in uh, different activities or uh, uh, 
uh, whether to take you no know, like more uh, manpower into the organization or not for production purpose or for other purposes whether extending the organization that is capacity plan or you no know, like uh, installing more machineries for production so all these comes under decisions when when uh, we say smart decisions it means after proper analytics is done and when the team comes with some kind of you no know, like qualitative decisions and that means smart decision not just mere decisions you no know, which has been taken uh, just by you no know, like uh, with a, like just by speculating something which you no know, like speculating or just by uh, uh, you no know, like um, uh, saying that okay the like one's own perception that is you no know, like the company's perception or the market's perception or the distributor's perception so not in their point of view but after analyzing uh, or you no know, like doing proper analytics on the data so when the team arrives with the decision so that becomes a smart decision okay so let's see you no know, like there are few current trends in the analytics part uh, many things have you no know, like changed uh, for the past uh, i would say uh, though it has been in the um, what do you say in the uh, um uh, let me say let me put the correct word so though it is in the experimentation phase yes uh, though it was in the experimentation phase for the past uh, 5 to 7 years but uh, these new trends these current trends it has become no like uh, highly irreplaceable once in the past uh, one one and a half years or say two years maximum so now without these trends uh, it's difficult for any organizations to uh, know like do the analytics part so let's see one by one data quality management gqm so it's a kind of no like uh, uh, the overall administration type that is no like uh, uh, everything everything with uh, quality maintaining quality in each and every process that is the resource planning and no like production planning transportation planning and uh, uh, storage planning all everything so maintaining a quality management and each and everything and finally going sticking on to the lean principles of no like reducing the waste minimizing the waste that is reduce recycle and reuse so companies organizations sticking to these DQM concept, that is data quality management concept. So they do better, uh, no, like um, in their uh, industry. They do exceptionally good in their industry. So take any industry, let it be no manufacturing industry, production manufacturing industry, or the logistic industry, or uh, you can say airlines, um, airline industry, the shipping industry, whatever it is, take hospital industry, so whichever industry has incorporated and you no know, like implemented implemented this DQM uh, in their own organizations, they are you no know, like doing exceptionally good. Not only you know like making good profits, but also in maintaining good, uh, giving quality service to their uh, clients and customers, and uh, <clears throat> and they are attracting potential investors as well. So that is the most important point. You have to you know attract the potential investors, and you no know, like you have to make sure the shareholders are you no know, like still or intact with the organization. So uh, you have to satisfy each and every stakeholder, you no, know, in the loophole. Everyone, everyone who is you no know, with uh, in accordance with the you no know, like uh, organization, the customers, the shareholders, the employees, the final consumers and uh, the distributors the vendors that is you know the uh, resource suppliers everyone so everyone after something what happens is when this organization sticks on to the dqm slowly the other stakeholders you know like they also start implementing or they also um buy get they also you know like uh, uh, unknowingly or knowingly they also you know like start implementing dqm in their own uh, life or organization as well so for example say uh, if an organization is you no know, like uh, very much sticking on to you no know, like um, uh, not using any kind of uh, um, plastic uh, uh, what do you say uh, plastic yeah. yes plastic uh, packaging materials 
they are not uh, no like uh, they are strictly uh, no like not uh, uh, not allowing any plastic uh, uh, you know packing materials anymore so the packaging industry you no know, which is uh, you no know, supplier to this particular organization now they have no other way other than to you know like go with some other uh, packing material other than the plastic so that's how you no know, it works out that's how you no know, this integration part works out so dqm is a very important process you no know, to be followed by any of the organization and when this dqm is followed in each and every uh, uh, industry or each and every uh, uh, the department of an organization so the whole industry or the whole organization sticks on to it and uh, it it will become a quality or nature of the organization after some time and slowly all the stakeholders know who are involved with the organization so they also uh, know like get adapted to this dqm and finally you know like uh, good sustainability you know like uh, so can be maintained data discovery so data discovery is um, another trend which is happening that is uh, we usually say data analytics has to be done results has to be published and uh, and these results help the uh, team members or the business analyst to come up with uh, you no know, come up with any decision making process and everything so data discovery makes this very easy for the teammates and the um, uh, data analyst uh, how uh, that is you no know, like by publishing the results in a way uh, like in a visual pattern so that you no know, it can be easily understandable by the team just by giving in percentage or you no know, just by giving in you no know, like uh, any decimal numbers or just by giving any uh, any other you no know, in any other number format so if 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 the system can provide me you know the results in a, a way of pie chart or in as a bar diagram or as a linear uh, uh, graph so it would be easy for me to understand as a data analyst it would be easy for me to under, understand the overall thing which has happened or no i can easily know like uh, forecast the uh, demand for my uh, company's product or service so it is very easy so the, here is how the data discovery works so not only in uh, demand forecasting but it can no help in uh, the other uh, uh, industries as well especially in service industry service sectors so like uh, how much the customer has been no satisfied with the service of the hospital or you no know, especially satisfied you no know, with this particular you no know, like um, a specialist in a hospital say for example there is a, a endocrinologist in a hospital so you no know, like after uh, the customer the patient has you no know, like uh, taken a, a normal checkup or uh, went for a checkup with that uh, specialist uh, feedback can be you no know, like got from all the all the patients you no know, who has you no know, like uh, has gone for a checkup there and based on the feedback those customers or those patients are given and uh, with the data discovery the results can be published in a way of a linear uh, diagram or in a way of you no know, like a, a, a pie chart or something so i can uh, you know as a data analyst of the uh, hospital or as a team member of the hospital or as a you no know, like um, uh, say to to do a performance appraisal or something like that so for that particular um, a uh, specialist all i have to do is you no know, like go with uh, check with the data discovery part so based on that thing you no know, like i very well understand what was the customers you no know, like uh, satisfactory level with that particular uh, uh, specialist so it is you no know, like more helpful you no know, like in these kind of you no know, field and uh, many things you no know, many things you no know, it, it can you no know, like help uh, the organizations you no know, to make easier decisions and you no know, like it makes the things very simple instead of giving out uh, the uh, in the results in numbers if the results can be published in these uh, pictorial diagrams it is very easy for the business analyst and for others you no know, like uh, it it's very easy to understand and you no know, like make decisions upon it okay then is artificial intelligence we know uh, what is ai and uh, almost you no know, like in um, uh each and every activity or uh, like planning the resources or, or planning the 
मैन पावर फॉर कंपनी और लाइक फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोपोसेस फॉर फॉर इस स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ द रिस्यूम्स एंड सेलेक्टिंग द टॉप मोस्ट नो लाइक टॉप मोस्ट एप्लीकेंट्स नो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन एंड and deciding upon what type of training can be given to those no uh, applicants who has been no like selected or recruited in the for the organization take anything any activity in the organization so if if it is no like integrated with ai it makes life simple it makes the activity very simple and uh, particularly no in performance analysis uh, whether it is no like uh, the performance analysis done in an organization or in an educational institution like uh, for example what is a student's performance for the past in the past exam and uh, what was uh, the students you know like uh, uh, how how far the student has you no know, like uh, has developed in a particular uh, study so this can be done you no know, easily with the help of artificial intelligence so here uh, you can avoid you no know, like uh, few things few negative uh, factors like uh, for example uh, as a teacher if i don't like a particular student or if i have some kind of you no know, like a differentiated opinion of that particular student of a particular student so even though the student is doing good or you no know, like a uh, little better so while doing the performance analysis i may not be in a uh, you no know, like um, i may not be in a, like a, a good term no to give uh, a better appreciation for that student so when i am using ai for no like for a complete analysis this particular trait can be you no know, completely avoided this this can be you know like avoided so which is good for the student actually which is good for the student because you no know, like there comes the constructive criticism and not some other thing so this is how it works so ai is being you no know, like used by almost all the organizations and even educational institutions are using it and uh, many like uh, even you can see you no know, ai in you no know, like in small uh, i mean the food delivery apps and uh, uh, in you no know, like other product delivery apps and all you no know, like ai has you no know, like made a part and then we have data mining so data mining you would have not heard this term so data mining is something you no know, like as i said uh, the collection of data you no know, the big data so it's a complete big data with everything it's a complete uh, collection of raw data okay so you need to get only the qualitative data or quantitative data out of that big data out of that you no know, like uh, the raw data so data mining helps there so with the help of you no know, data mining technique you can collect only what you want from the big data not everything so like um, there are no like uh, usually we do it no like in previous in olden days that is no before 5 years 10 years we usually do it with the help of no like uh, typing out the prompts and uh, typing out no like there are coding languages no to do that like uh, extracting few information from a whole set of information from a whole set of data we used to extract a only selected data we need to give that data or a no take excel sheet uh, that would be you know like uh, uh, like loads of data you know each and every cell so you wish we usually apply formulas applying by for applying the formula we usually take the maximum number or the minimum number or the average of you know, all the numbers we usually do it so data mining is a you no know, like ai integrated technology by using this you no know, like you can you no know, like um, Uh, extract all the data which you want from the big data so this is another technique this is very much useful in you no know, like business analytics so because as i said uh, there would be a huge collection of you no know, historical data available so all you need to have is the data which you need to take which is for quality purpose or quality purpose and then this cloud computing that is connected clouds again cloud computing is no it's like no sharing of the information or uh, the documents or uh, whatever it is no within the uh, all the members of the organization so it's like no it's it's like um, the server the online server no like somewhere no within the internet so you might have known like it people would have been uh, knowing it what is no cloud computing is 
so uh, google drive is a kind of you no know, cloud computing so whatever uh, files you want to know like uh, uh, share with uh, any of your uh, colleagues or with your peers so what you have to do is you have to you know like upload that file and you can you know, send a link to that uh, uh, link of that uh, location of the file to your uh, colleague so that um, your colleague can you know, get access to it so it would be stored in your folder it would be safely stored in your folder but it can be viewed by your colleague only that particular file which you want your colleague to be uh, i mean what uh, the your colleague to see so cloud computing is like that so um, whatever information all the information all the fields you no know, given to the system so that would be collected to you no know, like a cloud server and uh, all the information gets stored there so whoever you know within the organization uh, if they want to retrieve you no know, a particular data a particular information they can you no know, like do it next is data governance and trust so not only data governance and trust and uh, ethics and privacy so this is also very important because um, as i said google drive or uh, cloud computing so it's very not very but almost vulnerable you no know, like um, uh, a, like a good hacker can no easily hack the files and they can no like view all your information which has been stored so security you know is very very important uh, you no know, like uh, while um, sharing the files uh, you no know, in the internet or uh, while storing the files in a, a server of the organization or in cloud computing whatever so that should be a you no know, like that um, ethics has to be maintained by you no know, like uh, in the organization to make sure the information doesn't go out of the organization so this information can be very very you no know, like um, sensitive information like about a patient's uh, complete medical history uh, or it can be you uh, know like uh, customers uh, complete uh, uh, credit credit card details you no know, pin number the 16 digit credit card number with that uh, ccd number and everything so these and all is you no know, like very uh, sensitive information you no know? uh, it can be you no know, used for fraudulent purposes so it is it is the organization's responsibility you no know, to maintain uh, this data you no know, like um, in a proper manner and uh, uh, make sure you no know, the data you no know, like whatever data is being collected in cloud computing or in drive or you no know, in anything so this data has to be you know like safe and secured in the within the organization and it has to be used only for that purpose why it was collected by the organization or by the team members and not for no like it's not accessible to anyone else no like uh, outside the organization it shouldn't be shared by any shared to anyone else or no hacker should it be no like made to no like hack those information and get those information so this is more important and um, we have no like uh, ethical hackers nowadays no like ethical hacking is one of the most uh, uh, prominent uh, uh what do you say like a designation no like in uh, organizations no where uh, customers data is being no like uh, collected and saved so ethical hacking so with the help of ethical hackers data can be no like uh, made sure the data has which has been collected can be no like made uh, safe and secure within the organization then cdo and cao just like ethical hacker and just like business analyst we have uh, chief data officer chief analytics officer uh, usually before these designations you no know, these roles have you no know, like come into limelight it was usually these um, data analytics or you no know, this forecasting thing uh, it was done by uh, mostly it was done by the finance uh, manager or the uh, chief financial officer of the company so he was a person or uh, the finance department was a department which was responsible for you no know, like doing this analytics or and coming up with the forecasting and you no know, other techniques and publishing the results and helping the management in you no know, like uh, in taking decisions but now things have changed we have you no know, specialized uh, roles and designations for performing these activities 
chief data as officer and chief analytics officer. The only criteria is these people. Uh, they have to be, you know, like uh, knowing the uh, the present uh, uh, technology, that is the AI or cloud computing or uh, data mining, whatever it is, no? They have to know this technology. They have, they have to know how to use this technology. So they cannot still go on with the conventional way of, you know, like, uh, um, coming up with a model no, by analyzing the uh, past qualitative quantitative data. No, it's out of uh, fashion right now. So they should be knowing no, like uh, these uh, at least two or three technologies of no related to data analytics. So um, now companies are no, like giving more importance to these people. So they are almost equal to COOs. That is chief operating officers or CFOs or chief finance officers of an organization. So they are in the topmost role. That is, and they are in the high managerial level, high management level. So uh, their, um, uh, their main, <laughs> uh, their main responsibility is to uh, make the team members work on collecting all the data and uh, now coming up with um, implementing the right kind of you no know, like methodology or right kind of technique the analytic technique to uh, work on with that data which has been collected and uh, publishing the results and based on the results that is the intermediate results they have to build up a model and uh, they have to submit it to the you have to get approval from the top management by showing the model and once it is approved by the top management, they have to start implementing the model. And uh, so they can make changes whenever they want to do it. And uh, then finally, you know, like going on with the model. So make sure, and uh, not only this, making sure the data is safe and secure. And, uh, you know, like uh, the, the results are being, you know, like properly interpreted or communicated with each and everyone in the organization or at least to with whom no like with those people who are no involved in this analytics techniques for example if it is related to production all the uh, employees and workers in the production department in the unit has to be no like knowing about these uh, no like uh, what has to be done what is the role what is their role and uh, what is the objective of the organization? What is the end date or end time of this particular task and everything? What the company is actually expecting from them? And what is the correct remuneration they are planning to you know, pay for them? Everything, each and everything has to be properly communicated with those particular, you know, like departmental employees. So this is how it is done. And uh, yes, um, to improve efficiency in the data analysis to get a competitive advantage in their business intelligence strategy. So again, business intelligence is not like another trend which is happening. So let's see what it is all about. So collaborative information, information enhancement, collaborative decision making or the key focus of the new PI tools. That is collaborative information. So this collaborative is not like uh, gathering all the information and you no know, enhancing those information and collaborative decision making that is involving all the parties in decision making process so decision making not only done by the top management like including even the worker level management you no know, in the decision making process that is collaborative business intelligence so but BI does not only remain around some documents, exchanges, or updates, not only in communicating things, but it has to track the various progress of meetings, calls, email exchanges, and ideas collection. So there has to be you no know, continuous you kind know, of like communication between these parties, between you know, these people within the organization. Just you no know, like a word or um, you no know, like the, the first hand information, you no, know, that will not be you no know, like enough. So till the project gets over or till that, you no know, like um, the particular product gets landed in the market or a service being you know, given to the customer. So this communication has to you know like prolong with all the, uh, you know, like uh, with the, all the parties you know, involved in this uh, project or whatever it is, whether it can be between top management, middle management, or it can be between top level management and the worker management, or it can be between middle and worker level, or it can be between all the three parties. 
whatever it is the communication has to go over that is they all have to be keep informed then and there always there should be no in the communication process they have to be in touch with each other till the process ends at least till the process ends that is collaborative business intelligence finally consumer experience so uh, when the company will decide that you no know, an enhancement has to happen or a new product has to be given or uh, something better uh, product or service has to be you no know, like provided to the customer so only by getting the customer feedback consumer feedback so they should know check the pulse of the consumer so what actually the consumer is no asking for what the consumer is no preferring uh, what are the consumers no like expectations no regarding the uh, specification of the product regarding the price of the product regarding the usage of the product whatever it is no what the consumer is actually expecting from the organization or from the industry as a whole so this is not like consumer experience so to get this to get this consumer experience the feedback has to be collected from the consumer so again the new ai technology or the new trends you no know, like anything can be you no know, like implemented or integrated by you no know, in collecting the consumer survey uh, now uh, we can see after purchasing um, a particular product you no know, from a uh, from a supermarket or from a hypermarket say uh, or from a outlet from a showroom you no know, like um, uh, when they get our mobile number so they get our mobile number and you no know, like they type a bill so once we purchase a product automatically a kind of a message you no know, it pops up in our uh, mobile as a whatsapp message or as a text message it pops up in our mobile and it ask the feedback from us so how was your experience uh, how was your showroom experience or how was your online purchasing experience so what was the pros and cons so uh, how would you rate the quality of service so this is no like implementing no like the technology in getting the customer feedback so giving the customer a questionnaire asking the customer to no fill up the questionnaire that is an age old way of doing it conventional way of no doing the process so many customers won't be no like uh, uh, liking it anymore because customer consumer even though they are not busy they presume that they are busy so no like uh, to avoid all those things no like make the customer ease make them no like uh, uh, make the process no very ease for them so no go with these kind of things so within no like a uh, few seconds no the customer they can do was no like give a feedback about their service they have received about the product they have bought and uh, the experience they have got you no know, like uh, by uh, checking into the showroom the ambience of the showroom the the welcome they got from the customer uh, service agents or whatever it is you no know, like so this can be made possible and this can be made quick as well you no know, like uh, with the help of you no know, like implementing the ai technology so when is analytics not practical when there is no data so when there is no data analytics not practical because data is the main source no for doing analytics as i told just by you no know, presuming something or just by speculating something no like analytics cannot be done but the forecasting cannot be done that would be a passive forecasting it would not be an active forecasting so you have to consider the data no for doing a active forecasting so if there is no data analytics cannot happen when there is no precedent precedent means nothing has happened before say for example this is a new company a new startup company a new startup company uh, they have come up with something new not even in the product or service nobody has thought of that before something very new so they don't even have a chance to collect a feedback from the market or from any other customer or from the competitors uh, 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 no customer so in those cases no like doing an analytics is very different very difficult because no product is new the service is new the concept is new everything is no new 
and you know the a new industry a new uh, company you know like oh, everything is new so in those cases business analytics uh, part analytics part is uh, not possible so when the decision maker has considerable experience so even though the results has been published even though everything has been you no know, like given and business analyst has you no know, like done his part or done her part you know like coming with uh, coming up with all the analytics part and everything now the uh, results or you no know, waiting for the um, final approval from the top management or from the ceo or whoever it is now it's in the hands of the ceo or from the top management whether to approve this or not because if the ceo or any other team thinks that um their own decision because of their own experience uh, no which they have got for the past 10 15 years in the industry is better than the uh, results of the business analytics the analytics part then this is going to be of no use doing this analytics part is going to be of no use and then when the variables can't be measured so qualitative variables it can't be measured at all for example assumptions or uh, no like uh, speculations and these things no like it can't be measured it can be measured in no like in data so in those cases yes of course uh, analytics is no like difficult to do difficult to perform okay so overview of some industries benefiting from analytics so this we will see uh, in the next session so uh, before we wind up do you have any doubts as of now yes no ma'am no okay what about the others mom can you speak uh, data quality management data quality management yes please okay so data quality management is something you no know, like where data collected from each and every activity in an organization the quality of data is being maintained okay so only if the quality of the data is maintained so that data can be taken for consideration or that data can be taken for doing the analytics if there is no quality in the data then it is of no use of no like using that data in uh, analytics part so in all the activities the quality has to be maintained and so that uh, the data whenever the company is you no know, like for for example the present year the quality is maintained in each and every activity of the organization now the company the organization is stepping up to the next year now uh, in the next year they want to know like uh, get the historical data for doing the analytics part now since the uh, in their previous year the uh, all the activities has been you no know, like uh, it has been in compliance with the quality and everything the data also becomes a quality one so that this data when taken into consideration for the next year for doing analytics it would be more precise and no like more profitable so this is data quality management so maintaining quality in each and every activity of the organization so that the data also becomes quality yeah oh okay So, uh, if you have no doubts, you can leave the session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.